What's going on guys? It is episode 3 of my Buffalo Bills Madden 20 Franchise Rebuild Sim. We got through the preseason and weeks 1 through 4 in the last two episodes. So we are going to pick it up there and see if we can't hopefully lose some games to be honest with you. We are 3-1. and one, So thank you guys for watching. Let's get into it. Hey. One new injury, not Jake Allen. Okay, start a little early. Another defensive uh, tackle down for us, but Phillips is already back in. Got three guys ready to negotiate contracts here. Got to get Shaq Lawson signed. Quentin Spain and Hoshka. Okay. Bonus and the duration, just not the salary. So 6.2 makes him 5.5 million for a year. I want him signed for five years. Excited to sign. That's all it took. All right. Quentin Spain, what does he want? Our offensive line is so bad. That's the thing. Two-year deal would take him to age 30. Yeah, we'll make him. We'll see if we can't sign him. Perfect. No complaints. Did we re-sign Oshka? I don't know if I like that cap hit. Actually, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna re-sign him. I wanna see if there's someone else. Maybe we can get someone in free agency. Okay. So back to our hunt for wide receivers. Again, we're looking for anything A, any steals, that would be good. And you guys been getting the late rounds here. So something I have found is that you can find a lot of good guys in the underafted section. Um there okay okay we'll start the weekly training easy p whoops not what we want so soon um you know next year when we draft the running we got to draft the running back and wide receiver so we got to start working on those guys um once we get a running back that we can use Maybe we'll get another upgrade here. Ed Oliver still only played, like, how many snaps has he played? Hello? I wonder if he's getting autoed in way too much. How many more snaps? Oh, Jake Allen's got a... Josh, ah, Jake Allen. Uh, how many more does he need? He's 47. Okay. He's already in 82 before we even know what his potential is yet. I hope it's not star. That would be a pretty big letdown, not gonna lie. Great players. Josh Allen, let's go. Throwing bombs, dude. 77 overall. Like I said, we want him to be an 80 by the end of the season. That's what we really want. We're going into the bye week soon here. I think we're going to play until the halfway point of the season. Does he have any... Let's take a look here. He's got a 1000 to spend. That's not enough for anything. So we're going to play the halfway of the season. Let's look at our uh, stats here, actually. Fourth in the NFL in passing yards. Our boy here. All right, 96 of our pass rating. 10 to 3. He's just not scoring a lot of touchdowns. Rushing-wise, since we moved LaShawn McCoy and Gore, it's not. We do not. <laughs> Foster leading the team in yards, but it might have something to do with that gigantic game we played with Tyler Croft second and Zay Jones third. Four TDs for Robert Foster. Uh, blocking, that's not going to be anything special. We'll do tackles. Any sack leaders? Let's take a look. 2.5. We are not a big pass rush team, it looks like. Three interceptions for Tredavious White. You love to see that. Any forced fumbles? Nope. All right. Javis Boyd does have a defensive touchdown as well. As far as 7th in the NFL in offense, 29th in defense. I did not expect that, considering our defense was half decent to begin with, but now it is down to 75, so that isn't all that insane. So we'll sim into the bye week against the 0-4 Tennessee Titans. And, of course, we win. We are now a 4-win team. Which pretty much guarantees we're not getting first overall. Which I guess is okay. Not bad. Uh, but that does 
pretty much leave Tua off the board for us. Uh, he needs two more to get the scheme fit from Maurice. How old is he? 28 doesn't really matter. We're going to go with pass coverage because if we got to move him, we got to move him. So. John Brown still not getting an offer for John Brown. And I believe week six is our last time. So let's take a peek here. Any, we'll finish off wide receivers. See if we can't, again, we're just looking for some gems here. The, any A's in the undrafted territory is what we want. I doubt there is though. And no, how many more do we got? Oh, we don't have very many at all. We really want Jerry and CeeDee Lamb, man. Like those would be great. Higgins would be good. Chanel would be all right as well. Colin Johnson. Again, any of the A's across the board is what we want. Maybe even two of them. We really, really need, um, you know, that game-breaking wide receiver to help out Josh Allen here because, again, he is a low overall. So we also need an offensive line. So it's uh, it's gonna, we're going to see what we got here. All right, so we're going to sim our training. Make sure that it's the three guys we want. Yes. Sim, sim, start training. We'll see what we got here. Okay. Any upgrades? We do have upgrades. No one, all backups. Uh, yeah, we'll go strong arm. Again, we're just trying to get the scheme fit so that we can uh, we can make sure that he's getting the bonus XP each week. Uh, run stopper. Yes, that's what we want. Oh, Sean Joe, rookie from this year, so we might be able to turn into something. He's had a few upgrades already. And then Corey Thompson, we're gonna go another one. There we go. Okay, so moving on. Uh, let's get, like I said, let's get to the halfway point of the season. What's our? Uh, who are we negotiating with now? Ashka, I'm gonna think I'm gonna let go. Levi Wallace. 24 years old, 75 overall corner for us. I think we want to lock him up to a long-term deal. See if he'll accept it. Small cap. It might be able to push 80 by the oh perfect by the time that deal is done. I'm okay with that. Jason Kroom, 73 overall. We've already got Croft and Dawkins. I don't know if I want to keep him. Let's take a look. He does fit the scheme though. 25 years old. What does he want? How much? Cap it at two mil. That's nothing really. Hmm, I'm just not sure if we want to keep him. Uh, we're going to have to wait and see on that one, guys. All right, so let's move on. Through the bye week, actually, let's take a look at... Can we already do that? Yeah, he's got 1,300 passing yards, 11 passing touchdowns. As far as running goes, 79 yards and one rushing touchdown. Okay. Uh, do we have any upgrades for the coach yet, Coach Goals? Nope. 1100 is not going to do it. So we can advance to next week. I'd love another breakout. That'd be cool. And, okay. So let's see here. Let's go with our... Uh, let's do our training first. This does seem kind of tedious, but I actually kind of like it compared to other franchise mode games, to be honest, guys. And we'll go start training, and we'll sim. Because you only have to do the, like I said, you only do the practice once, so. Okay. And we don't really have any corners other than Tredavious White that we really want or need to upgrade. And then we've got Micah Hyde and Poyer back there. I don't really need to waste time upgrading them. That's why I do defensive line and linebacker. So, no upgrades? Wow, no upgrades from that. Let's take a look at our contract situation again. We're not going to keep Hoshka. Foster, we definitely want to keep now. Uh, he's 25 years old. Let's see if we can get him to 30. Again, that's kind of the way, best way to, um, you know, sign guys on that you think that are going to, you know, be valuable near the end of their deal because they do start to progress quite heavily. Kevin Johnson, 72 overall. Does fit the scheme, but he's going to regress soon. I don't know if I want to keep him. Let's take a look. So let's finish off wide receivers, see if there is any gems undrafted. And uh, then we'll go from there. We'll move on to uh, running backs. We do need a running back. So we'll go and see. Any A's? We're looking for an A. 
no A's here, so have we gotten all the A's done? I believe we have, yep. So we want a, we want a 3A across the board, and it looks like we found them all. They're all near the top, obviously. And so let's go and find our running back. Jonathan Taylor from Wisconsin, an A, a minus, and an A minus. That's what we want, Travis. Tien, a minus, a minus, a minus. DeAndre Swift from Georgia. Again, these are all elusive backs, too, so they fit our scheme well. We won't have to make any adjustments. Okay, that works. And we've got 15 more points to spend here. Uh, I don't want to waste them. Uh, might as well finish these off. Okay. <clears throat> Against the 1 in 4 Dolphins. Let's lose this game, please. Although we're probably not. Man, what an easy start to the year the Bills have. And another win. Fantastic. Five wins already, and now we get to choose our new stadium for the Bills. I want to go with the Deluxe Stadium because it's... Why not? It's boring. Deluxe Canopy. Hmm. Deluxe Futuristic. This is the most expensive and the best. But again, we're in... Um, hmm. Hmm. I would love a Deluxe Hybrid. It's in Buffalo. Get the fans out of the freezing cold. Everything's level 5. I think we're going to do this, guys. Because the sphere looks super dumb. We're going to go Deluxe Hybrid. There's our new stadium. So that takes care of that. Get some upgrades here. Zay Jones. All right, we do need Zay Jones. Uh, oof. Okay, another deep threat. It's going to keep him at 79 next second. We do need him to fit him into that scheme to get the scheme bonus for training. He's only a normal developing rate, so that's why we do need to get that. Deion Dawkins, this is going to bump him up to the scheme fit for us, so now he's going to benefit uh, from more training. Tremaine Edwards. This is perfect. He's going to get 78, and he fits our scheme now. This is great. Our punter. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, we really, I think we really got to sign a punter in the offseason. I don't know. Daryl Johnson Jr. This is the one we have to work on because he is very young and a rookie, and he might be part of our future at left end. So we got to bring his agility up to fit into our scheme. <sighs> Saran Neal. I don't think he's ever going to play for us. 25 years old, 64 overall. Might as well. Oh, well, he already fits our scheme, but he might as well just try and see if he can get outside. <coughs> Maybe get him in the 70s and trade him. <coughs> Kyle Pico. 26 years old. Well, now he fits our scheme. All right. And one new injury. Singletary dislocated him out for seven weeks. That's okay, really. He wasn't going to be anything. I just wanted to see if he could, we could upgrade him at all. But Yeldon Edwards will take the reins there. That's fine. I might have to sign another running back, to be honest with you. Oh, we did find out what Ed Oliver is, and he is a superstar, so that does work well. X-Factor is obviously the best, but that does work okay for us because, well... Uh, we need him to upgrade as fast as possible, and that's better than a star rating. Foster, Robert Foster's catching Zay Jones, though. The training finish. Star Luda Lily comes back. All right, let's start out. Let's do our weekly training here. Okay, and training upgrade. What do we got for an upgrade? And perfect, Ed Oliver Jr. That worked out well. Boosted to an 83. First season, already an 83. If we can get him to 85 before the end of the season, that'd be great. Harrison Phillips. Uh, yep, perfect. That's going to fit our scheme as well. We can start upgrading other things for him now, too, because he is quite high on that. Isaiah McKenzie. Deep threat. What's his ratings like? Fast. Should we keep going? Trying to see his route. How is how are his route running? Hmm. 
pretty bad, not gonna lie. I wanna boost him to 7-3. That was a little bit of a risk, but I do wanna, like... Just because we don't always have to work on the scheme fit one, you kinda wanna build him, round him out a little bit. Lower overalls, though, you do. 6 And okay, we'll do our scouting now for our running backs. Wide receivers are all done. So, D, nope, avoid Anagieris. Okay, we're starting to run out of the A's there now. That's kind of quick. Oh, nope. All right. It's going to take a while. It's going to eat up a lot of our points because we don't have. Can we get coach goals? 1300 that's still not enough to buy anything really no. we do want expert scouting so we're gonna grab expert scouting probably next game training complete is that everything done yep let's see uh, let's take a look at our stats though guys let's see josh allen with 1600 yards 13 492 overall rating that's not good yeldon's got 130 averaging 23.3 yards per game Holy smokes. Robert Foster, though, 500 yards, averaging 85 a game, five touchdowns. Croft, Croft's having a great season. Let's go. And on defense, sack-wise, let's take a look. We got 4.5 for Trent Murphy. That's not bad at all. Oliver Jr.'s got one. Any interceptions? We got Trey Davis White with three. Mike Hyde with two. And forced fumbles. Let's take a look. No forced fumbles. All right. We're 25th in the NFL in offensive yards, and we are 9th in defense. All right. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Now it's starting to even out and to be what it was. So now, But now our defense is 77 overall, so kind of makes sense. All right. So five players ready to negotiate. Again, we're not getting – we're not – we're getting rid of Ashka. Kroom, I'm super undecided about. Same with Kevin Johnson. Isaiah McKenzie. Kind of want to sign him. Hmm. Try and keep all these guys till 30. And if they become anything, we can always trade them for future assets. So 2.7 cap hit. Yeah, that's fine. I figured he was going to take that. Let's take a look at our corners real quick. What's our corner situation? Because do I want to keep them, and do I want to... I mean, we know we have Tredavious White, so... And we've got Levi Wallace and Taron Johnson. Do I really want to sign Kevin Johnson? Like, how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. We still have Ryan Lewis, who's very young, 25, but I do like that. What if I... And I'm, I'm, maybe we sign one in free agency, so we'd be down one. Maybe we get rid of EJ Gaines and keep Kevin Johnson one more year and have that nice five. Let's see what it costs here for him. Again, we can always trade him. And he does fit the scheme. So he's 27. We'll take him until he's 23. Cheap as far as cap hit goes. And everything from the salary is great. Oh, my God, man. Imagine complaining. And I really want to work on Dawkins, but I just don't know. We'll get into week nine. And uh, see what happens here. We need another one. Please lose to the Eagles. We are going to make the playoffs and possibly win the division. Oh, my goodness. Well, I'm happy. I mean, at least everything's going well from a team-building standpoint. Like, okay. But, uh, yeah, this is, this is nuts. Josh Allen, big upgrade here. We need to get him into the 80s and... I mean, I don't see him not getting in there now if we're going to make the playoffs. Probably. I mean, we's, we only necessarily need four wins in the remaining. So we'll go Robert Foster. What's his ratings? Let's take a look. 93 speed. Deep route's an 80. Short route is bad. Well, his deep route's still only 80, so let's fire him up there. And 76. We got a green Robert Foster now. He's catching up to Zay Jones, so it'll be interesting to see what happens with Zay Jones. Taron Johnson, who we are going to keep. We have him around, so we'll make sure he fits the scheme still. 73 overall. Perfect. And then 
then we've got Eli Harold, who's looking to stay on the squad because, again, he's going to fight with that guy that we signed off free agency. He was actually younger um, and the same. Uh, so, let's see, Adrian Waddle. How old is he? 28? No, we'll work on his overall. And John Foliziano. How old is he? He's 27. Yep, yeah, again, I'll work on his overall. Good. And that does it for the upgrades. Like, how? I don't understand because Josh Allen is not doing good at all. Rushing wise, I mean, 29.7 yards a game two touchdowns where is it coming from robert foster is having a season which i'm ecstatic for but on defense what do we got here is anyone causing havoc five and a half now for trent murphy interceptions still only three is leading i just don't get it boys so 20th in offensive yards and six in defense i mean i guess our defense is going going absolutely nuts and i think that we might be able to upgrade our coaching goals here to get at least the XP boost. Yeah. We want the or sorry, we want the expert scouting. So yeah, we're gonna go with that. And we'll see, whoops. So so now McDermott's got that extra scouting, which we do need. And that'll come next week. So might as well let's take a look at our gains we are not gonna resign. We're gonna keep Kevin Johnson, but like what does he want here? I like the bonus and the duration, just not the salary. Like, how much more do you want? I'm going to go by one. Take this, dude. Take it. <laughs> All right. Eli Harold. We don't have any good right, right outside of linebackers. So, he's 25. We'll keep him till he's 30. If anything, he'll be a backup for us. At under, two, under two mil cap hit. That's super cheap. So, he's going to accept that. I need a better salary, he says. All right, dude. 71 overall. Let's relax. Let's scout. Back to running back. See if we can't find any gems, guys. Uh, nope. Oh, there's one. Nope. Okay. Nope. I didn't want to do that, damn. Like I said, if you go down through this, uh, you can find a ton of them. Um, might as well just finish off. Is there any up here that I don't have? No. Sean Atkins. Okay. We'll do our weekly training, and that'll do it. So let's see here. I mean, what a great rebuild so far. Um, <laughs> there's no one good on the team on the offensive side of the ball. Like, it's wild. Hopefully we can get Ed Oliver up superstar trade. I would love it if Josh Allen got a breakout game. Like, that would be incredible. He can upgrade. Star loot lately. He's old, so... Oh, but he does fit the scheme. Perfect. Okay. Might be able to move him. Andre, Ro Andre Roberts gets an upgrade. Nice. Might as well just go here. I should have done the slot thing. 24,000 to get an upgrade? Yeah, that's not happening. Eddie Yarbrough... 26 years old. He's not going to become anything, but might as well. Anything in the 70s, I guess, is a good backup or rotational piece. And then Jordan Phillips as our defensive tackle. I can't remember if he's young. 26 years old. Hmm. No, we'll go 26. He's going to start regressing soon. See if we can't get him in the 70s. Okay. All right, guys, so that is going to do it. Uh, we are 6-1 and one and first <laughs> first in the AFC East. You'll love to see it, guys. Team stats, let's take a look here. Like, total offensive yards, we've got to be, yeah, where are we at? We are near the bottom, yeah. Actually, we're kind of middle of the pack. Passing yards. Pack rush yards. Uh, 
Oh, we are almost dead last. There we go. Points per game, though. Nope, down to that, too. Passing touchdowns. Terrible. All right, let's take a look at our defense. Total. Oh, man, here we go. Two, three, four, five, six. Would it add... Would it kill him to add, like, a where they are? That's all right. Fifth in points allowed. How many sacks, though? We're almost dead last in sacks. We are very low in fumble. What interceptions? Man, the Bears just hawk the ball. I love it. Oh, no, we're actually catching up in that, too, as well. Let's go. All right. All right, so... You know, there's some stuff that we can work with here, but uh, yeah, guys, I am. We'll be. I'll be back again once we're done. We'll go through the rest of the season with our Bills rebuild. Thank you guys for watching. If you do enjoy this series, please let me know in the comments section, like the video, and subscribe if you want to see more of this. And again, don't think I'm done with NHL. I'm just trying to fill the void for the next month. So guys, let me know, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.